Hey guys, Chronicle here, and in this episode of Mario Kart 9 Predictions, we're going to be talking about Battle Mode. So, Battle Mode in Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 was just a balloon battle, and not only that, but the battle courses they used weren't even battle courses. I mean, this uh, the, the only one of these eight that were that was decent, you know, at least or maybe at most was Yoshi Valley. And ugh, this is this makes me scratch my head whenever whenever I think about this, uh, because it just it, it's just mind boggling as to why they didn't go with, uh. Well, they at least didn't bring back any of the older battle courses. Uh, I mean, now the flexibility that they first introduced in Mario Kart 7, where, uh, you know, you could set it to that, you know, only, uh, you can only get shells from item boxes or bob bombs uh, or just bananas or mushrooms, uh, where you can limit uh, which items uh, to use. I mean... I still don't understand why they did this, and uh, this cannot happen again in Mario Kart 9. So, I don't exactly have ideas, well I do have ideas for new courses, but I'd rather not, uh, you know, try to predict anything new. Uh, so we're going to go with um, what I think that they could do uh, to try to rebound from this, uh, because it, it does. they do need to rebound from this, Nintendo does. Uh, Basically, what Mario Kart Wii had, uh, which was five retro battle courses and five new ones. So, here are the five new ones uh, that I came up with. So, uh, and the at the top left is Battle Course 1 from Super Mario Kart. Uh, the bottom left is Double Deck from Mario Kart 64. In the middle is Tart Top from Mario Kart DS. Top right, Block City from Mario Kart Double Dash. And bottom right is Delfino Pier from Mario Kart Wii. So yeah, not any of uh, not eight battle courses. I think that would just be too many. I mean, there was only eight in Mario Kart Eight, so um, it's safe to say that uh, they'll at least be ten, or maybe just ten at most. Not sure, but uh, assuming that they decide to actually fix this, uh, which they really they really need to. Uh, so, anyways, for why I chose these. Uh, as you can see, Battle Course 1 from Super Mario Kart is, it's an unusual looking, uh, battle arena. Uh, it's not symmetrical, uh, like the other three are. And I think for just about, uh, the other ones that are, are similar to it in, uh, what was it, Mario Kart Super Circuit. So it, it makes me, uh, makes me curious as to what they could do. Uh, how they could remake it, how could they could update it, maybe add pipes in particular, you know, corners, uh, you know, maybe in that sort of like L appendage of the course at the top. Maybe they could add a pipe that randomly puts you in, uh, maybe at that, that one uh, sort of branch, I guess, to the, uh, to the left or the right. Uh, you know, they've got a ton of flexibility. So... You know, I hope they try something creative with it. And anyways, moving on. Uh, reason why I put Double Deck in here from Mario Kart 64. Uh, it's the only one of the four to not have been brought back. Uh, Block Fort was in Mario Kart DS. Uh, Big Donut was in Mario Kart 7. And Skyscraper was in Mario Kart Wii. So I tried to have a balance of courses that are fairly... Uh, fairly simplistic in terms of... Uh, you know, out uh, their outlay, or uh, not outlay, <laughs> layout. <laughs> so this one is uh, this one's kind of a big course too. Uh, I mean, there's a lot going on here. Uh, I mean, not a lot, but I mean, there's multiple levels to it. I think there's at least three. Uh, so uh, besides, it's more you know complicated layout. And, of course, it's the only one of the Mario Kart 64 battle courses to not have been brought back. That's why I have this here. So, anyways, moving on. Uh, we'll go in... 
go in order of the of the games. Uh, Block City, fairly simple layout, but uh, there's it's it's different enough that uh, it, it's not sort of um, I mean it's, it's it's symmetrical in its layout uh, for the most part anyway, but of course little things here and there, uh, sort of like how the course dips down uh, right at the top, uh, right, right by where the uh, the blue block is. And then of course, uh, close to it, where you can go through that uh, under the uh, the yellow blocks. And so again, that's one of the more simple ones that I chose. And then obviously, the same applies to Tart Top from our card DS, which of course is just a, a circle. And then of course, you'd get your item boxes from the uh, from the middle uh, by jumping or through going through the boosters at the middle. Uh, to leap over the, I guess, the top of the tart, I guess. So again, just another simple one. And lastly, Delfino Pier. Uh, a bit more complex, and of course, since there's water involved, it'd be perfect for the underwater driving, or just an underwater uh, battle course. Now, uh, I was originally going to put Funky Stadium in here because I did have some courses that I wanted to predict. I had some ideas. Uh, maybe one that's based off of Rico Harbor from Super Mario Sunshine, which would effectively kind of replace Delfino Pier here. Uh, again, that's why I had Funky Stadium here originally. But I uh, decided to go with this one for now, since, of course, we don't even know if they're even going to bring it back to begin with. It would be a mistake if they didn't, but you never know with Nintendo, since they, they tend to make head-scratching decisions nowadays. So, anyways, uh, moving on. Potential game modes, uh, or battle modes, I should say. Uh, well, uh, at the top, uh, top left, uh, Balloon Battle is a definite. Uh, I mean, that's been around forever, so that shouldn't, <laughs> that shouldn't be going anywhere. Uh, to the top right, uh, that's a screenshot of Coin Runners in Mario Kart 7. Uh, I think Coin Runners should be brought back, uh, just because it's, it's different enough from battle mode to be its own thing. You know, it's just collect as many coins as you can. Um, you know, different enough so that it's not just a uh, constant. Uh, it's different enough. Yeah, I guess that's just about all I can say about it. <laughs> uh, and then at the bottom, we have uh, Shine Thief and Bob on Blast, both of which were in Double Dash and have only been in Double Dash, and uh, both of which I included in, in here as potential battle modes uh, because they're unique. Uh, now, of course, Bob on Blast is something that you could kind of do now in Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 7 with just having bob -ombs as the only item that'll, that you'll be able to get from item boxes. But bob on Blast was unique uh, because, of course, you had to deal uh, a particular number of hits to your opponent with bob -ombs. And, of course, the you know being able to collect a bunch at a time, too, uh, made it really unique. And really fun, too. And same with Shine Thief, where, of course, it's not like uh, Shine Runners or Coin Runners. Uh, Shine Runners was a Mario Kart DS, which is similar to Coin Runners from Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart Wii, uh, but a bit different, uh, because there was a bit of a... I think there was there was a time limit in which, uh, if you didn't have any Shines, I think, or... I think if you didn't have any Shines at after a certain amount of time, you'd be eliminated... Uh, but in Shine Thief, of course, there's just one, and you have to have it, uh, I think you have to keep it with you for a certain amount of time uh, in order to win. So again, it's something that could be brought back, not too sure. Uh, Shines haven't really appeared in a big Mario game for a long while now. Um, I mean, they've only it's only been here and there. Uh, I can't even remember the last time it was even really used. Uh, maybe in Mario and Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, it was a rank. Uh, might have been in Dream Team. I don't quite remember, but yeah, I'd like to see the shines some so, somehow brought back. Maybe as a the logo for a cup, you know, a shine cup. Uh, you know, that could work. But um, maybe it's the name of a DLC cup. Uh, but anyways, uh, I don't think those bottom two are likely. Uh, although I'd really, if I were to choose one over the other, I would prefer to see Bob on Blast be brought back in some form. Uh, maybe adjusted somehow. Uh, maybe instead of needing three hits to win, you needed four. Or something like that. 
Um, but I think if anything, Coin Runners uh, of the three that have not that didn't appear in Mario Kart 8, Coin Runners is the most likely to come back. And obviously, of course, again, <laughs> Balloon Paddle is a definite. So. Uh, I don't really have any uh, new ideas for battle modes. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, I really hope that they, uh, you know, they bring it back to what it used to be, you know, with, you know, you know particular battle arenas and all. Uh, and not the lazy way out with reusing race courses. Uh, so, uh, talking about uh, ideas for... Uh, or maybe I should, I'm actually going to save that for the next uh, next video. Uh, what so basically what they should do with Mario Kart 9 to make it different enough from Mario Kart 8, uh, because likely they're going to be using the same uh, you know visual style engine, uh, so that it, the the game needs to be made different enough gameplay wise so that it doesn't feel like a Mario Kart 8 2. So anyways, I'll get to into more of that uh, in the next video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, a bit on the shorter side, but. Uh, Anyways, let me know what you think of the uh, retro battle courses I chose. Uh, whether you think, uh, you know, Nintendo could f uh, will fix this, and uh, what courses you would, what kind of uh, new courses, new battle arenas uh, you'd like to see in Mario Kart 9. So, anyways, that's going to be all for this video, and I will see you next time.